Hey there, KCR friends. I want to take you to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 to 25, which reads, And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Right. How on earth are we supposed to obey the scripture with the lockdown approaching on Friday? Obviously, we can't physically gather together in places like this as much as we want to. But we also can't just vanish, just disappear, just isolate, as it were, from one another for the next few weeks. So as leaders, and I encourage you to do the same, the, the call here is to consider how we can spur one another and how we can encourage one another. We need to be praying for each other, supporting each other over this time. So as leaders, we recognize that the way we need to do this, the best way is to make good use of technology over this time. Now, I know some of you feel technologically challenged. You're a bit scared by technology. Fear not. We're here to help you. Just ask us and we can help. I want to say thanks to those who joined us for our first uh, attempt at an online service last Sunday. We learned a lot from it. And are we going to do things differently ahead of this Sunday, especially with the lockdown approaching? We are pre-recording our worship. We are pre-recording my Sunday message. And uh, we're going to upload that so that it's ready to go. Please, Lord, with absolutely no hitches whatsoever on Sunday. Okay? So, this is how it's going to work. We're obviously not gathering here at 24 Queens Terrace. Can't do that. But we're going to encourage you to join us as we gather online at 9 a.m., on our Facebook page. All you need to do is be on Facebook, like our Kingsway Church International Facebook page, and then be there at 9 a.m. If you think about it, we meet every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. It's our rhythm. We want to keep that habit going. Come and join us. Hey, it's not like you can be anywhere else at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. You can even come to church in your PJs. When have you ever been able to do that before? We're looking at having a separate resource available for kids. Um, through one of our uh, partnering churches, something they produce. So we'll put that up separately. You could show that to your kids ahead of the service. Then join us at 9 a.m. We'll have worship. We'll have a message. And then we're going to have tea and coffee together afterwards. It'll be about an hour long, but then we're having tea and coffee. How on earth do we do that? Easy. Run through to your kitchen. Grab your cup of tea and coffee. Don't slip coming back. Come back to the screen, and you can interact with us. You can post comments. You can put up prayer requests. We can hang out for a bit. A virtual coffee lounge after the service. It's going to be different, but it's a way of being together. What do you do if you, for whatever reason, miss that 9 a.m. service on Facebook? Look, it'll be there still. But um, you can, as an option two, you can make use of our Kingsway Church International YouTube channel. You can go into YouTube and watch the message there. If you would prefer audio, just the sound to video, you can also um, do what we always do. You can go for the podcast or the Google Play um, recording afterwards as an audio recording. How else are we going to stay connected over this time? We all recognize the importance of prayer. Prayer is vital at this time. So next week, we are going to be having, every evening, a three to five minute prayer time where we're going to cover a range of important topics in prayer from individuals, us, the church, right through to the nation. So we're going to send more information about that, but let's be praying together every night through this coming week. We're going to continue to send out short, encouraging video messages, about two to three of those every week. We're looking at the moment at um, some apps we can use, whether as home groups or other groups, to connect online, um, like the video conferencing kind of an, an option. And on that note, we want to encourage you to reach out to others as well. You can have a virtual coffee date with someone over Skype or uh, FaceTime or Zoom, one of those video conferencing calls, or you can just go old school. Pick up your phone, and phone someone, send them a text message, reach out to others, especially if you have someone on your heart. You have no idea what your phone call or your message could mean to them in that particular moment. Let's be open. Let's be looking to reach out. Again, friends, we have to be so careful that we don't become the isolated church, the withdrawn church, the lonely church at this time. We need to stay connected. We can't physically gather together, but we can use technology and box smart and stay connected in that way. Please let us know if you need any help whatsoever. And I want you to know that as a leadership, we are praying for you. We are standing with you at this time as we head into the lockdown. I want to encourage you finally to make use of this time to grow and strengthen your relationship with the Lord. Grow and build your relationship with your family and those around you. May God bless you. May He protect you. And I look forward to meeting with you on Sunday at 9 a.m. Thank you and God bless.